had to guard AD a lot in these Lakers matchups? I mean, what's the things you can try to do to, to slow him down, you know, with such an athletic you know, big? Yeah, I mean, obviously AD is AD. Um, you know, we all know what he brings to the table, but, you know, with a guy that caliber, you know, you just got to try to make his life difficult. You know, slow him down if you can. So, um, you know, that's what I'm going to be tasked to doing. Fantastic doing. Obviously, try to take away his layups and, and dunks at the rim and try to make him shoot from those in between shots. But again, easier said than done. I'll, that'll be my task tonight, though. What did you think of um, the defense having, you guys had 11 steals and Josh, Josh Richardson had four? I mean, what did you think of just how disruptive you guys were in that game against Portland? No, it was great. You know, we came out and hit first. You know, obviously they were they were missing their, their primetime guy in Dame, but, you know, it shouldn't, that didn't affect our, you know, our preparedness or readiness. And I thought that was great. That's the same kind of attitude we had to come out with tonight. Portland was in a bunch of zone. Is there anything besides just made a ton of shots that you feel like you guys did well to, to solve that zone in that game? I thought Herb was great. Um, you know, singling out Herb, I thought he was awesome. You know, getting into the middle of the zone, slipping, finding the right guy, finishing at the rim. He's uh, um, in this, in this, in the, in the zones. He's found, he's a newfound role that has been really fun to watch. One thing he said after the game was like, if they're gonna sag off, that's fine. Like, I'm just gonna go find a guy to screen. I'm gonna go find a way to cut. Yeah. Have you seen him? You know, kind of like, I guess, respond to the defender sagging off by doing those types of things. Yeah, that's something you got to learn how to do. You know, that's uh, you know, I'm in my eighth year, and obviously, I'm still perfecting that. You know, guys like that's where we watch film with guys like Draymond and Looney. And those, they, those guys have gotten really good at it. You know, not that anybody's, you know, we don't want any, we don't want anybody shooting. You know, we want her to take those shots when he's confident and open. Um, but you know, big, becoming a connector and you know, using using the guy sagging off him almost as like a big. And running into a ball screen or something is is, is um, a learned skill that he's gotten really good at. At this point in the year, how much are you watching the standings, or how much are you trying to just focus on other things, focus on on getting wins? But how much you know, pay attention to that right now? Um, I look after each one of our games, and that's about it. I try not to look on off nights and see where people shifted and whatnot. But I, you know, control what you control. Whether we win or lose, then I'll then I'll look and see where we're at. But like. I don't know who won or lost last night. I try to not. I try to not pay too much attention to it. How do you evaluate the importance of these final 14? Oh, there's each one of these is a must-win. Is how is how we're going into this. Um, obviously, tonight has higher implications uh, given the uh, uh, given the tiebreaker and and you know everything that everything that tonight comes with it. Um, but you know, each one of these you know, each one of these games is one that we don't have the luxury of. Um, we don't have the luxury of taking a night off or or uh, taking an easy one game. This, I know you want to focus on this game right now, but before or after this, we talked before about winning games you're supposed to win. Uh, after, the next four after this is how important is that stretch going into the, the, the final two, three weeks of the season? Again, stressing tonight. Tonight is next on our plate. Tonight is a must-win game for us. Um, but yeah, winning games, you make you make the playoffs by winning games that you're supposed to win. And this year we've already tricked off probably some that we shouldn't have. And so these these next four are going to be must win for us as well, just like the rest of them. So um, you know, not to make any, any one game more important than the others, but um, you know we're just focused on tonight. So. We're trying to ask every player on the team, uh, do you have a favorite place to eat in the New Orleans area? Ooh, um, I'm a little bit bougie. So I'll probably say Doris. Okay. Doris was probably my favorite. Yeah, a little bit bougie. The short rib is, is delicious.